Hello everyone. Welcome back to Smart Interviews. I am Thakur Rishi Singh. Let's start with the third problem of biweekly contest 137 max value by placing three rooks. So in this problem, let me just increase my screen. In this problem, basically you are given a m cross n chessboard, okay, where you have some values placed in it. You need to place three rooks something like this such that such that no rook is in the same row and no rook in the same column that means if you see here he has placed one rook here no rook in the same row and in the same column next in the same way one rook placed here no rook in the same row in the same column same as this but you should place in such a way that if you see if i place one rook here i should not place other rook in the same row in the same column same if i place one rook here i should not place rook in the same row and same column other rook here same rook and same column if you observe here if i place like this 1 2 and 3 the sum comes out to be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 3 but if i place in this way the sum comes out to be 1 plus 1 plus and here we have 2 which comes out to be 4 so there are two possibilities right there can be many possibilities of placing the rook out of that you need to get the maximum sum okay you need to get the maximum sum to understand the problem in more depth let's take a better example a bigger example okay let's say this is your chessboard and you need to place three rooks so most of you might be uh, thinking that we can place like uh, let's say you are in the first row you are in the first row zero row you can take the maximum one and it can be one of the way that you can place the rook but if you observe it might not be the best way right you can place the other rook here that can be one more possible way so let's say uh, you might be selecting the other one you might not touch this okay but what's the next possible option to take from the zero row you can go for the this six value but let's say you might have you might have some other better option in the same column you might have some other better option let's say you might go for some other value in the column so if you are ignoring this also the third option you are left out is you will definitely either go for 7 or 6 or 2 but you will never go for the fourth possible answer in the zero row otherwise otherwise you will also leave that and you will not select any cell from that row you will go to the next cell why because you only need to place three rooks right if you are placing if you are blocking this row and column if you play if you are blocking this entire row why not take a 7 or 6 or 2 why are you going for the fourth best answer okay so basically how our idea will go is let me just erase these things how our idea will go is from every row we will take out the first three best possible ways why because the fourth way definitely we are not going to get it so the first uh, three best ways are 7 6 and 2 also simultaneously we will write their uh, column and rows let's say their rows first 0 3 0 comma 0 2 0 comma 2 okay so here it's nothing but uh, let's say 
put i comma j first then i then j okay the same thing i will do for every row so uh, in the second row my best is 503 40 comma 0 20 comma 1 the same way here 70 comma 1 and then i have 3 here 0 comma 2 then i have 1 1 comma 0 comma 3 And if I come here, the here I have two best possible ways. So I can keep in any order. Seven zero comma let's say two first. Seven zero comma three, and then one zero comma one. Okay. So out of all these possible operations, out of all these possible things, what I will do is I will select all. three combinations let's say i will keep the first pointer here i second pointer here j third pointer here k and i will search for the best option possible okay so basically what i will do is i will keep the entire thing in a vector this and the all this possible space in a vector and i will generate the all possible three pairs every time and i will compare it with my answer if it is maximum i will update else no okay so how the logic will go is first i will generate all this pairs and every row every row what i will do is i will generate all pairs out of all pairs i will in, i will i want only first three pairs right so i will generate top 3 pairs top 3 uh, values let's say in each row second thing generate and compare all possible pairs All let's say all possible values. Okay, while generating, make sure here you handle the case where it's uh, the rows and columns should not be equal. Okay, let's see how the code will go here. Let's start with code. So uh, the first thing we need to do is declare the NNM. So my M is. My board dot size. That means row. My n is board of zero dot size. That means the column. I need a vector to store all the pairs in. And then let's generate the first three pairs of each row. So I will iterate on every row now. For int j going from zero. So I will create a temp variable. In that I will push back. Okay. the three things one is the value board ij next its column and row so let's declare the temp vector of vector in temp now we'll sort the temp linearly based on the board ij so let's sort the temp sort temp begin temp end 
I am going to sort it in a descending order. So this will help us. Vector. So I'm going to sort this on the basis of board of ij. That means a of zero. If it is greater, it will return that. And yeah, then in the result, I'm going to add the top three values. That means pushback of temp zero. And yeah, temp one temp two. Once top three rows of each rows are pushed, then for all that possible, I will generate all possible things that I can get. That means I need the three rows right so it will be three for loops for int i going from zero till my result dot size i plus plus in this way i would require three for loops so i will declare it in this way and yeah don't forget to rename and adjust the variables accordingly. J going from I plus one. And yeah, the condition will be J less than result. J plus plus. The same thing happens for the third for loop. K equal to J plus one. J K less than result dot size. K plus plus. Once it's done, Now, for every time, I will just separate out board of ij, row and column in three variables a1, result of i, comma 0. This is the value int a2. This is the row int a3. This is the column. In the same way, I need to do it for again two times for inner two for loops. But yeah, again, you need to adjust your variables b1, b2, b3. This will be again j. But yeah, remaining things would be same. Again, for enough for loop. Let's uh, rename it as uh, c1, c2, and c3. And this will be k. Once you are done here, before you compare, and yeah, you need to store the maximum in a variable, right? So your variable should be written in long, long way type. So let's declare your answer with long, long. Okay. I will initialize it to long, long min. Okay. Why? Because we want the maximum value, right? And yeah, I will return that at the end. Now here, before I directly compare it with answer max of current answer and value, I will check if the rows, I will check if the rows are unique. 
and i will check if the columns are unique so how will do let's see if my a2 not equal to b2 and b2 not equal to c2 and also you need to check your a2 and c2 should also be not equal this is for row let's see for column a3 not equal to b3 and b3 not equal to yeah c3 and also additional and also don't forget to handle this condition a3 not equal to c3 once this is done compare it to the max answer variable max of your current answer convert it to long and long and a1 plus you are adding the values a1 plus b1 plus c1 okay so let's check if our answer works yeah let's try to submit it yeah so yeah it's going to work so that's all for this video guys for more videos uh, for more such videos you can subscribe to smart interviews channel and uh, do follow our smart Inter uh, smart coders course and that's it bye guys